Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Cookie Monster of Pro Forge Racing, bringing you my number three spot in my Halo 3 racetrack forgers uh, who forge double wide sandbox racetracks. Uh, this is Bate de Rubber. Bate de Rubber, I didn't find out about until towards the end of Halo 3, and um, he didn't really come on until about, you know, a little, like, after Sandbox came out and stuff, he didn't become a forger. But uh, this first map here is his Razmataz map, and uh, it's just an incredibly smooth map. Bate de Rubber, uh, I guess, told me he used to spend like 50 hours at least on his maps. His maps are incredible, and they're so unique because a lot of people just made these uh, double wide maps that have, you know, a turn and then a hill that goes to a spiral and then a turn and it connects. And that's fine, that's what I loved, and. Um, but his maps are just different than that. Uh, you'll see that as we continue. This map's called Virgil. And um, what it has is you start way out. And then there's this big series of jumps you do. And then you go up a giant hill a few turns. And then a ginormous hill back to the start. It's just a really incredible, incredible map. Much different than most double wide maps. Um, and uh, right there you can just... There's just that giant, like, multiple jump, and then you go up this huge hill. Bate de Rubber was just an incredible forger, and I remember shortly before Reach came out, he showed me a map he was working on, and it looked like it was incredible. It was very, very smooth. You know, you started with a big hill, and then, uh, you know, an incredibly high up bank turn, and then a hill, but uh, I don't think he ever finished that because it's, it's not in his file share or anything. I'm not even sure if he still has it. But this hill right here, uh, on Virgil is just ginormous and I love it and then this cool looking turn at the end I don't know what about that turn I love it's just it just it's like a perfect u-turn this next map map is Cyprus and as you can see it's not just like you know a turn and then a wave it's just like these giant waves that all just kinda like I don't know merge into each other he just makes like big waves that kinda like wrap around and then perfectly reconnect. Uh, you'll notice that Botator Rubber has a way of reconnecting his maps incredibly well. Like un he'll he'll be at ridiculous angles at some points in his map and then he can just reconnect them perfectly. And it's just it's just amazing. It blows my mind how Botator Rubber used to do this. I remember BLH seven two H introduced me to Botator Rubber and I was like who's Botator Rubber? And uh, I played his maps and I was like, oh my god, he is an incredible, incredible forger. And, um, he's a Canadian, and he can still forge this well, so that's saying something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This map is really cool. At the start, it has, like, this lighthouse. It's this big scenery piece, and there is a man cannon. I mean, a gravity lift. And there's, like, another gravity lift or something that pushes it, so it, like, spins, which is really cool. And this map is so smooth. It's pretty much just three, like, giant banked wave turns that, uh all kind of just connect and it's so cool looking I love this map um, this map is called Olivine by the way and uh, it's just so good and it reconnects perfectly uh, I just I just love this map uh, for some reason the start of it kind of reminds me of um, one of uh, HJ117's map his map uh, Turbulence I don't know why but um, anyways this next map is Ascension which you saw if you watched Epic Forgers um, number nine spot in this series if you haven't watched all of the videos in this series you should most of them are pretty quick videos just showing you the ten best double wide sandbox forgers in halo three because i really only like double wide maps and i really only like them on sandbox in halo three so i was pretty picky but these were my ten favorites i guess um, but this map is really incredible i love this spiral right here in the next wave it's just giant at the end there's a drift turn i think it was one of the first drift turns on halo three like drift like an actual like giant turn that like made you drift i ended up making one on my map phoenix actually by accident but uh anyways um this last map here is an incredible incredible map it is called mistral it was i believe ranked as the greatest just general meaning like double y normal track in halo 3 it starts off with this incredible spiral, just perfectly spiraling around, using the wall corners as the uh, outline part of it. And um, it's just got huge banked waves. It's just incredible. 
how big and smooth this map is, and it ends with a ginormous drift turn, just like Ascension does. But, um, Bate de Rever is an incredible forger. Check out his three maps and his file share in Halo Reach as well. But, uh, thank you guys very, very much for watching.